Okay, it's Tuesday morning and outfit of the day. I've put this mint green top on just because I've got mint green um, polish on. This one is on the thicker side, so I've put it on because um, it's a little bit cooler this morning, not by much, mind you. And we had torrential rain last night. Um, it was later. Don't think we had any thunderstorm. Didn't hear it. Um, I did get about six hours sleep last night, so a good result for me. And yes, I've got another pair of these jeggings. I've got two, three of these pairs actually because they're comfortable. And I've got my white clogs on. So today I am actually going to address my to-do list. I did a reset day as I normally do on a Monday. Reset, general tidy up and just address those pieces that really need doing. Um, so as I said on a Monday it's just like a catch up day. You know after the weekend and everything. And as I said, addressing that to-do list, um, I think the first thing on my list is to, um, I think, get the beds made. Um, I've asked my son not to make his this morning. It is airing, both of them. Um, weather's not brilliant. It is forecast rain off and on. It's very dull. It was actually very misty this morning. Um, so, but I'm going to, um, you know, put clean bedding on our bed. I'm contemplating washing the bed in, whether to risk it. Really don't want to have my tumble dryer go in. Um, temperature's still fairly warm all of, you know, all through the home. I don't know if anybody else is the same or whether they don't mind using their tumble dryer. It doesn't matter uh, what time of year it is, but I try and cut it down, say, um, during the summer months. It's when we get um, rain off and on, as we did last week, and I was in, out, in, out, as I said, with the washing. So I'm going to start with the main bed. Um, part of me was going to go for my grey grey and beige light um, check set, keep it light and airy. My other part of me, because it's dull, this is how it goes, it's the same with my clothing, um, was going to put my Kit Calm red set on, but I might stick with the lighter um, quilts beans it's um, summertime, or supposedly. So, um, yeah, sometimes if it's going to be like this, I'd rather it be on the cooler side. As I say, it's very muggy. So, um, say it is forecast rain for a good few days. So it looks like I'm not going to get my gardens done. This is what happens to see toys, cuddly toys and cushions um, just stay at the end of the bed um, overnight. So let's get on and get the beds done. Okay, it seems to have brightened up a little bit, so I've got our bedding out, and at present I've now got our son's bedding in the washing machine. Um, so I'm going to go and finish making the beds in a moment, but it's quite pleasant out here at the moment. Um, this is the fairy garden, her granddaughter um, was put in right, if you could say that, and changing it round. So. Um, both of these here light up and then I've um, got this little path with some added addition. I've had this quite a while actually and obviously fairy garden there, the little houses there and then her pot is here. I want to get a larger pot like the larger one here um, to make it um, slightly bigger. These two here are actually um, fake plants that she had last year. I think they came from Poundland. So that's her little fairy garden. Okay, so I've got um, our son's bedding out on the line now. It's come over dull again. Um, our bedding is dry, so I've brought that straight back in just in case it does rain. And hopefully I'll get the second lot of bedding dry. On the beds, I'm putting a different quilt sets on anyway, so I can always air them in the airing cupboard as long as they are dry. Right, I've just had some water. Yeah, I probably do look a hot and rough. Um, I've just got back um, after getting my prescription. Um, my son um, was having a half day holiday today. I say he was, I'll go back to that in a minute and um, got all my medication which I'm really happy about. 
say I do have a lot of meds and also um, this was a must this is my um, insulin so I'm glad I got that and um, it was sort of in and out now I do wear a mask I've got one that it's a washable one that I um, got from Amazon mine's um, like a baby pink I mine's um, yeah mine's baby pink and um, hubby's is like a camouflage one and my son's is black one and they are washable so um, yeah and I've worn my gloves and everything because if I'm lucky I may get out once a week maybe once a fortnight so um, I didn't get out at the weekend um, except obviously in the gardens and everything so there's that so uh, I had to go and get my med uh, my medication anyway um, Boots hadn't rang me, I rang them and they'd received the um, electronically but they hadn't got it ready and I said, oh, is there any way you could have it um, ready in say two hours time because my son's leaving work to pick me up um, to bring me um, and they said they'd see how they are. There was no cure in Boots. I went straight up um, and got my prescription so it worked out really well. Did give a few people evil eye or evil eyes um, because they're just not, um, you know, looking at social distancing. There's all these footprints and arrows on the floor, and there's even give way um, footprints because obviously traffic coming up from both ways. Um, so, me and my son, we stopped, and people just, bark, you know, these um, two blokes just barged along and I'm going like this I'm thinking well, why are you waiting you know why do you think we're waiting here as if you know they looked just as if we were stopping the traffic but we was actually waiting for these people to to go by oh I my son says no wonder you don't like going out and I said no it, it's not an enjoyment and I think it's going to get worse and um I think because of the um you know the semi lockdown now and the shops opening um, I think it's just gonna get worse people are just not paying attention and you're doing what you can to you know to be careful enough for you just oh, yeah I'm going on a rant here because it, it made me annoyed I said I, I couldn't my son said do you want to go anywhere else I said no I just want to go home um, I did pop into um, Peacock so there was two people in the queue um, there was probably in the whole store maybe about five, maybe six people in Peacocks, um, maybe three members of staff if that. Um, and the two other people that I seen were actually in the queue and I only got one item. I wasn't going to go in and I said well I'll see how busy it is um, because it was something on my list because I said I don't really need any more clothing but I wanted some black lounge pants and also you can wear obviously pyjama bottoms these are the but they do they're very soft and silky sort of um, you know um, comfy um, they do seem a bit long but once because my bum and my stomach it might be okay um, and also you see I like these sort of things when we go to the caravan because if you want to walk around I don't have to get necessarily get dressed and these were £10 and that was the only item um, I bought that's not um, food related and as I said I've got rid of um, two lots of pyjama bottoms and I think one lot of um, actual pyjama set as you see I had three sets on the line I got a couple of shorts and t-shirt ones but uh, yeah this was a you know sort of a must I am trying to be careful money wise um, part of me yeah I'd like to go shopping yes I don't really need anything particular not unless it's food wise but um, the problem is the enjoyment's not there I know they're saying about the economy and everything and to go out and shop but to tell you the truth um, I only had the, um, the news on briefly this morning just because I was swapping a channel and it's usually when I'm going on the planner it's already on the news station anyway and they're talking about um, the job centres and um, all the redundancies and people out of work and funny enough hubby came home um, last night is 
overtime is being cut down now is overtime only normally slows down um christmas time leading up to christmas because they they close the whole christmas break um but this is the first sort of time that he hasn't it's got a little bit of overtime but they're actually having to share it out as all through lockdown and everything um he's at overtime he's been working saturdays and everything but um I don't know I don't know what's happening there I think quite a lot of the contracts have caught up I don't know whether that's what it is but anyway yeah so I just want to watch um, the pennies as much as I can because you don't know and uh, as I said uh, over time is being um, sort of slowed down now um, that's what pays for the extras the holidays or the extra pieces do you know what I mean and as we have booked a weekend away and a week, hopefully going away for a week in September, not that we've um, booked that up with Camping Caravan yet because they're not taking the reservations, as I said. But the money's there and um, yeah. So food-wise, yes, I'm in the lounge. If you hear any whirling, I have got the fan on, the ceiling fan. Um, I just need to cool down. Um, because I've opened all the windows. Um, I was only gone, I would say an hour, if that. And it would have been longer if I'd had to walk it there and walk back. I wouldn't have been able to bring the items I wanted um, home. Now, the stool that I normally get my fresh um, fruit and veg um, wasn't there. This is the first time it's not been there. So we ended up going to Tesco's to get our salad stuff and stuff. So I'll quickly show you them. I'm going to show you the bits and I'll put them into another bag so I can take them to and put them in the fridge. But as I said, um, except for the lounge pants, which is really what I needed. Um, and they do look smart. I did manage to get hubby some of these. Um, I do apologise for the wrestling. Some Flaming Hot What Sets and i've got two packs of those i'm not going to go through prices because to tell you the truth <laughs> i didn't actually look at the prices that much you know what i mean funny enough i said to my son because i had my mask on it was warm um tesco's wasn't too busy actually whether it's because kids some kids have gone back to school and others went back on monday i understand um whether it would be busier after school i don't know um, I just said to my son, need stuff for jacket potatoes. Now it was supposed to be minted lamb burgers, um, cheesy mash and beans today, but I'm swapping it round because it has turned out really hot. Um, I put the fun on, it was 79 in here. Um, goodness knows what it is upstairs I keep saying we need to have a temperature thing upstairs um, it's cooling down the shed because I've got the fan on and I've opened all the windows upstairs um, not that I'm moaning because I have visions of coming back to wet clothing because it was supposed to rain off and on all day I did get our um, bedding done you probably can sit just in the corner there and there's the laundry bin there yeah I just dropped everything as soon as my son said do I need picking up yeah you know um i know it's taken away my exercise but i'm doing sort of exercise around the home making the beds was bad enough so i've got his if i'd known it was going to be like this i would have put another lot of washing in i might do it actually because it's still quite say hot out there going back to this little mini tesco haul um I just said to my son, you know, pick up stuff. So we've got the jacket potato meal tonight instead of tomorrow. So he's picked, and I'm not going to say about price because I don't know. <laughs> I just wanted to get in, uh, sort of in and out sort of thing. So he's got the um, scotch eggs. And we've got sausage rolls. I'll do this quickly because getting it in the fridge. Um, yeah, cheat. <laughs> I don't even know what he put in there. Um, grated cheese. Um, cocktail sausages. No, these and the sausage rolls and scotch eggs were not on my list. But I'm thinking if this um, weather does actually continue, I can do these sort of things with, um, like we 
we actually had it for two stroke supper on Sunday. I can do it with um, cheese, um, cooked meats, you know, and things like that if it gets too warm. So we've got the um, cocktail sausages. I did say my menus may change. And Hobby quite likes these. These are the minced beef potato Swede wrapped in short crust pastry and it's the little mint beef pasties. So yeah. yeah, more coronation chicken. Guys love this with jacket potatoes. I did get the potatoes separate. Um just because I want them a decent size. Um, tomatoes. Yes, I've still got lettuce. And then finishing up with um, cheesy coleslaw and potato salad. Um, yeah, if if this heat does continue, because I said, I think I've said this morning, I can't, I've lost, I'm sorry folks, I have lost the plot. I've just lost it completely. I've just gone do lally. Um, yeah, it's Tuesday. I, but that's about as far as I can remember. I'm getting a bit emotional here. It's Tuesday. I've just gone do lally. I think it's because I'm hot. Um, I've just drank, um, I would say, a half of that bottled water. You know, my um, water container that I have, my gold, my pink and gold glittery one. So do ex um you know getting things out and talking i think i need to have some more water i think i'm a bit dehydrated actually because i don't know about anybody else i i was going to take water and very often i used to and you know being out especially if i had to walk it the only trouble is with um not having toilets open i don't think tesco's were open um i'm not sure actually if they've opened toilets or not um, I didn't really look, but I wasn't. I know they haven't been in the past, but I don't know if they are now. Now more shops are opening. I, I don't know the answer to that one. But I didn't want to drink too much, and I thought I'm only going to be out, and I said only about an hour. Did everything really quickly, so I can actually um, tick off medication off my list. Um, it wasn't a, something that I was actually thinking I'd get done up today but I'm glad I did we did look um, me and my son did look a quick look at the DVDs thinking because um, I like to buy hubby a little something for Father's Day but um, nothing actually jumped out of us there was a couple of question marks but hubby said not to worry about it um, so he's got um, one DVD from our youngest son and so there's going to be a few off my to-do list that I'll be able to cross off today. Um, as I said, I wanted the salad. And yeah, going back to my son. Just about to um, pull out the car park at Tesco's. And there was a missed message. Just as I think it must, his phone was ringing as we were, were going to the car. But he thought he would wait to the car. Um, problem at work so he's now had to go back into work so so much for his half day holiday um so um yeah so i'm not quite sure what's happening there don't know if he's popping in and then coming home um or he said he's not he's, he's told them straight if he's going in he's not going to work till six it's um just have a look at the clock it's just gone through three o'clock at the moment he said he's not working till six he is hot and he bless him he's been a taxi service took me to do a little bit of my shopping get my medication that was what i really wanted and um yeah so i don't know he said he's gonna let me know um when he thinks he's gonna come home because we're changing the menus around we're having jacket potatoes with salad cheese and cooked meat today but as I said, I want to allow a couple of hours because I like to um, slow cook the jackets. I know if we happen to be in the caravan, yes, I do partly cook them in the microwave, then put them in the oven to crisp up, but um, I shall put those on. So I think I need to get some more water. Um, I don't dare even go and get my washing in just yet. Um, it's just so hot out there. 
I know I keep, I'm not, I shouldn't be moaning about this, but you know, um, if I'd known it was going to be like this, I probably would have done my 20 minutes or so gardening, but so, it rained, it downpoured um, last night. I could hear it in bed um, because our window, um, our bed is right under our window in our bedroom, same as my son's. Um, we had to shut our windows because of the rain coming in. So, uh, yeah. So let me get this stuff um, away and then I can re-look at my um, list and um, contemplate. Really, I could do with getting at least one more thing off the list if I can do. Um, because I didn't really get that much done. I'm sorry, but it was a short video yesterday and I do apologize that um, quite a lot of things I didn't actually video and I think it can get very repetitive for you, um, so, you know, subscribers or followers watching my videos. But as I said, I film what I'm generally doing on that day and I can't see me actually, except for food, doing any hauls in the near future. Um, I know the shops are opening, even getting those um, bottoms, you know, jam bottoms. I was literally straight to the, following the arrows on the, on the floor, get my, I knew what I wanted and straight to the um, cashier. Even my son said, you're not going to look around and said, no, it, it's not the same. I said, I don't need anything else. I said, that's the only thing. And I wouldn't personally have got those, but being as though the shop was practically empty, I said, that's why I thought I'd get those. Um, the enjoyment's not there. It's it's not the same because um, you're either looking where you're going most of the time or you're looking behind you or something. Um, um, I like to think that, you know, I'm adhering to the rules as much as I can and so is my family, my son. Um, it's just other people. And the last thing, I'm, I'm there with gloves. I'm used the, even um, the liquid on my gloves. Um, I've got washable gloves, I've got um, washable masks that I use, so they'll be hand washed now, now I'm home because I will not be going out now, now I've got my meds, I've got all my food and everything, you know, just that top a bit, so I don't think I'll be going out, I don't know what's happening at the weekend, um, but as I said, whether we'll camp out again in the garden, um, I don't really, as I said, want Hubby to do a lot on Sunday. I want him to at least have some relaxation time for Father's Day. But yes, um, having a cool down time, as I call it. Cool man, yeah. But I'm hoping my son doesn't have to stay in work for too long. But um, yeah, I'm going to put this fridge stuff away and get a couple of bits done. Right, for something a little bit different this evening, I just thought I'd show you the rooms with like lamps on and little lights. Like this is the games room. Um, this light has actually got um, quite a low um, wattage bulb, so it's not that bright, but uh, I wanted to give you the effect. This um, mat came from Ikea. We've had it quite a few years and it just goes in the room nice and um, behind the um, TV um, there is strip lighting as well um, it was taken down because the TV was replaced but it did go all around the outside of the previous TV that has actually got to be adjusted so that is the games room so I said I thought I'd just um, show you it all with the lamps on we tend to use lamps more than the overhead lights this is our son's room um he has we have a lot of these standard lamps as well and he's got a touch um one of those that you touch and it goes brighter or dimmer um and that's the bed and i put on his bed it is a little bit lumpy it got so hot up here earlier on that uh, it's not my brilliant um, bed making, but at least it's made. So he's got the Harry Potter set on, Harry Potter set, and then those cushions covers were originally downstairs, so I've put those on his bed. 
so um because they go quite nice actually with that set and then the cushions that were on his bed i have put them back on our bed because when i put this set on um it, they just go lovely and i have got my other owl um cushion there um for a change my other one is over there got to do a little bit of decluttering i've got some books my glasses and the kindle over there and in here i said rather than have um the overhead one on i haven't actually i'm not sure if they're gonna show up we have got some lights above our um wardrobes and um use this remote here you might just be able to see them there um and we've got um that's hubby's side i have that one i haven't put my other light on which is for reading and as i said um you can have it on different colors um using the remote and i did actually decide to put that um check set on and i do like that during the summer so that is our room and i've just hooked the blanket because it's been so hot today i thought if i actually put the blanket away debit the weather would change and it'll get cooler so that is our room so i thought i'd just quickly um i'll say show you around as i say very often um in the dark we just have those lights above um our wardrobes so that is the bedrooms all lit up um for the evening and it's the same as the lounge we tend to use lamps in the lounge as well so hopefully you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching goodbye